now serving customer 7499737 ab exclamation mark asterisk subsection ddd x y triple z yeah molly can you send them up please it's their turn oh oh okay well that's new bludgeoned in the waiting room as well okay well just have uh harry go and clean it up and then uh, move them we'll move them to the back of the line i guess yeah no it's not like i don't have another i don't even know how many we have on the docket today so i'll just deal with that okay all right yep yeah, okay okay thanks so much okay Hello? Hello? What can I do for the two of you? Um, do you have a ticket? A ticket? Yeah? They would have given you a ticket over there. Okay. Um, okay, just, just, just wait there a second. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. Are you guys serious? You've been deceased what? 10 minutes? Okay, all right, right, just sit in front of me. It's fine, it's fine. I'm here to serve, ultimately. You know, this is my job. This is where they decided to put me. You know, only 50 years on the other side as a top CEO, but I get stuck here, basically pushing paperwork. No, that's okay. I take my job very seriously. And the two of you are, if I'm not mistaken, and Okay, all right. Well, just sit down, sit down. You both look like you're still not doing too badly compared to some of the other ghouls, goblins, ghosts, and um, other interesting creatures we have here. So I don't really understand the sense of complete impatience and, you know, stopping what I'm doing, but that's okay. You're not sure what to do in this room? Did you read your handbook? I'm assuming you read your handbook, right? The handbook for the recently immortalized? You didn't read your handbook. Okay, well, let me get you some paperwork then. No problem. Okay. All right. Let me actually get your file out since looks like I'll be talking to the two of you for a little bit. Here is some paperwork for the two of you to go over. Um, there's this one. I'll need you to fill out this one since you still haven't read your handbook. And you just skim over this one, but hold on to it in case I need it later on, okay? Fantastic, okay. Well, you have your copies, I have mine. We're all good. So um, what exactly do you have questions about? You're feeling completely overwhelmed in the afterlife well i guess that's a pretty typical feeling um you've entered on a, like a great day because today the passageways are very open so i'm hoping your transition here was somewhat smooth like i said you're both look fully intact so oh okay yeah you got shrunken down in a modeling of your own backyard and then someone stepped on you oh well you don't seem stepped on Oh, okay, it was just like a cat paw, but you were so small that it didn't even crush you. Well, you know what? You're very lucky. I don't think it's it's hard to see that. Mm, you don't feel lucky because you're deceased. Well, what can you do? You're going to be here for the next... Don't worry. This is, like, really, this is it. So, uh, there's no more surprises, nothing to worry about after this. So, I think you'll be okay. Now, since you didn't go over your handbook... Let's go over a couple ground rules here, okay? So first step, you're gonna need to read your manual. I'm gonna write these down for you, but it seems like you already have enough of an issue reading, so maybe we'll just talk. Can I get you something to drink? Um, we have decaf coffee or tap water. What can I say? We are just the most hospitable people down here, for sure. Actually, hold on. Let me get you something. Let's 
There we go. Okay. I want you to take this. Okay. And I want her to take this one. And you actually also need to take this, please. Yeah, just stick out your tongue. Thank you. Sorry, just um, in the afterlife, sometimes the, the men, they need a little extra something. So, yeah, you just need to take those. Trust me, it'll make the rest of this conversation much easier for both of us. Consider it a little party favor from us down here at the underworld to you. And you're now a part of us. So, we're all in one and the same, okay? Great, great. Okay, so, you just joined us 10 minutes ago. You haven't been deceased for very long, let's be honest. There are people who have been waiting here for about 100 years, and in under underworld years, that translates to, I want to say, maybe a million human years. But you need to forget about all of your human years, human ideas, because now you are here, you're with us, and although some things are going to be very different, there's going to be some great sides to it as well. The two of you will be assigned a afterlife caretaker. Consider this like a sober companion who is one of those ones that the celebrities hire to go around with them, like go from place to place. You have this companion, no matter where you go, they're going to go. But don't worry, they're not going to be in your space. You're still going to have your whatever the two of you did in the human world. Um, you just would have to call on them. You'd have to say their name three three times okay oh you got a phone number when you were still up on the other side right okay yes all right i am seeing that now in your file that although you've only been here for 10 minutes you were both up there still for what was it two months let's just speak in alive human terms here okay Okay, and you made a phone call to someone when you're up there. Okay, well that does change things a bit. That might get a little trickier, but it's okay. I have seen it all. I'm very well versed in my job, so don't even worry. Okay. Right, so you called this gentleman and he came to visit you and he offered you three wishes. Mm, okay the thing is there's no wishes um this is not fantasy land this is not candy land you're here for a reason um so no there, let's get that wish idea out of your mind um you will have three nudges that you can use and those nudges would help you direct humans who are obviously on the other side to kind of move in a direction that you want them to move so these nudges could be used for, I don't know, let's say if you have people living in your house that you no longer want there, in case you ever want a vacation there, I guess, you are allowed to go back to the place that you crossed the other side from. I'm not sure. If, well, of course you don't know that. You didn't read the manual. But what else could the nudges be used for? I don't know. Do you have children? If you don't want your children to end up with someone or you don't want them to get on a certain train or... I don't know, the list goes on and on. I can't be here to help you figure out what your three nudges are going to be. But yes, you do have those three nudges. And the only issue with the man you called earlier is that that kind of added a little layer of darkness onto your nudges. But that's neither here nor there because there's nothing you can do about it. So typically people are... Mm, I mean, some people have had a much different outgoing than the two of you and you know they still manage to keep it together but i understand i understand everyone's different you reacted right away you called upon this man if you can even call him that and now you're here in front of me so let's just move on the three nudges oh you have a question about that it seems really important um yeah it is really important but i hate to say this your nudges are not going to be that useful for you because they're going to have this layer of darkness and as dark as it is down here we really tried to promote positivity if you could say that am i speaking too fast for the two of you it seems like you're having a really hard time focusing on me 
yeah come on focus on me please you focus on me focus on me right here please focus no don't look around focus on me are we are we all feel, figuring it out now great okay well what else is there to know i mean like i said everything is in the handbook but okay hold on hold on i'm getting a call one sec you know the two of you are not the only people that need me okay go no go okay hold on there's something in my speaker Is that better? Okay, well tell me what it is. He wasn't able to clean it all up? Okay, then you know what to do. No, I'll give you the number right now. Yeah, I'll just, just, just ready? It's one, eight, zero, zero, yeah? Okay, H, E, double hockey stick, double hockey stick. Yeah, just call them. They're like the industrial, I don't even know, speed cleaners. Call them. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, bye. Well, I would say sorry about that, but it is my job. And I'm sorry, but the two of you are taking up a lot of my resources right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be calm. It is a holiday coming up, so I think everyone's just a little testy getting ready for this holiday you know comes once a year the humans up there they really seem to love to eat their candy and you know carve their jack-lanterns but down here it's typically business as usual other than a couple people from the other side no no just the other side of the we have our own political spectrum down here and some people from the other side they still like to act like they're up there and they bring some of the traditions down here that's actually where I got my party favors from, so there is a need for them, I guess. All right, where were we? Okay, so the three nudges, whatever. You guys will have to kind of figure that out on your own. The We do have a hospital. It's in this building on the other floor, and right now, don't even, don't even try, okay? I've given you already something to help calm your nerves. I'm assuming they've kicked in a little bit. Yeah? You feel a little bit better, a little bit calmer? Okay, great. Okay. Um, The hospital. So that is going to be for our headless horsemen that you saw. That That's a dime a dozen. There's 12 headless horsemen that come in here a day. Like that's, you guys are going to need to get used to the bloody, the gory, all that. Okay. I can't help you with that. You can't be coming to me every time you have like a little anxiety or flare up, okay? Because that's not something we kind of, we don't deal with that well here because we really see it all down here. So the two of you, you've got it good. Just try to keep that in mind. You can go back to your place where you crossed over. And from what I'm understanding from your file, that was your house where you got the cat paw on you, right? The cat paw. Okay. Um, other than that, you spend your time here. You're going to have to get a job down here. We'll take you through the hallways after you can see the different types of rooms that are available to work in. I mean, I have this cozy job here at my desk, but I can't guarantee that all the jobs are going to be like this. Mm, well, you might end up working for that, uh, cleaning number that I just gave, uh, my, co-assistant over there you don't deal with blood well honey come on oh my gosh the two of you the two of you the two of you okay well the two of you are going to have to just kind of get on board here i know i'm being tough but it's the tough it's the tough love that the two of you need i can just tell okay next Sorry, I'm feeling a little stressed right now. You guys have managed to make me feel a little stressed out and take a look around for the seventh time. It, I don't get stressed out easily. I take this job like with a grain of salt. I go home, I have my life outside of this desk, but 
I understand for the two of you right now, this does seem like an eternity. Uh, and that's because it is an eternity. Regardless, um, oh, let me get you some of our Dracucade forms to fill out. I didn't give those to you at the beginning because those are going to be how you can go to the hospital if need be. And I'm also going to get you to fill out the forms for your spooky spectacular numbers. I'm getting ahead of myself. The job, you're going to need your SSN. The hospital, you're going to need your Dracucade, okay? Okay, so let's get those started. Okay. Okay, so since you're a couple, I only need one form for both of you, but let me, let me do the honors of filling it out for you, okay? Okay, so name, we have that, we have that. And I already know how old you are. Um, it's, well, I'm no, no offense, but it's very obvious how old the two of you are. And I have it in your file that I've already gone over. Time of transition. But I will need to know the Halloween costume you wore the last five years, please. Yeah, let's start from five years ago and work our way to today, okay? Okay okay well that's just offensive okay oh you're pamela anderson and tommy lee last year very creative okay and you i already know what the last one was but the four before that oh this is really a slap in the face isn't it look at the people around you would you like if they were dressed up as you right now for our celebration? I don't think so. All right. Okay, you guys just keep getting better, don't you? Wonderful. Why do I need to know that? Um, because it helps determine which job we're gonna give the two of you. But first I need to get the actual SSN and Dracucade applied to the two of you. Trust me, you don't wanna move much further without those two things. Okay. Um, the next five questions is going to be your f top five Halloween candy that you used to give out to kids who went trick-or-treating. Okay. Raisins. Toothbrushes. Mm, granola bars. Candy apples. All right. I'm sorry, guys. It's not looking that great. No, we really live by the motto of you know how you treated people up there is kind of how you're going to get treated down here. Oh, you were worried about America's problem with obesity and cavities? Well, I don't, like, isn't that a joke? <laughs> yeah, isn't it funny how our perspective changes when um, we take on a different form? I think that uh, the cavities are the least of people's worries. All right, well, on that note, I think that's all the information that I need. Let me work on generating these numbers for the two of you as quickly as possible. Um, I am here to serve, don't forget that. But, you know, I do have quite a few other people who also need my attention today. So please read over your packages and just fill out the rest of your paperwork. I'll go through all the stuff I have here for you. And um, if there's anything else you need, please Take another ticket and I'll see you maybe next year, okay? Okay, good luck to both of you. All right, it was a pleasure meeting you. All right, bye 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 Okay, bye guys, bye. No, I'm here, I'm here, what do you need? No, no, that is not what we do. No, I, I, it's not, it's not our issue. No, trust me. No, send him over there. They'll get the bolts out of the head and all the cockroaches out of his body. I promise. No, we don't even touch that stuff. No, absolutely not. No, we already have a huge cleanup we're dealing with. We cannot add anything else like that to our plate. Okay, all right. Okay, bye. Bye.